Yes. Where is it? I will check. Yes, we found it. We'll start. Yes, it's definitely not straight. Need to do some measurements. Eighteen degrees. Is this correct? During the weekend, Ring Freak's racetrack investigation bureau got multiple calls about the killer curb. Today it's Monday early morning and we must investigate it. It already caused panic, it already caused some big YouTubers' friends' car to break down during the first lap and also it caused multiple crashes. We are really lucky that there are no fatalities yet, but we must really take care of this now. Let's measure everything. Sixty centimeters. Okay, so this curb, which is causing panic, is sixty centimeters wide, and let's measure its height. And it's ten centimeters height, so it's sixty by ten. Is it correct? Must be. It must be correct, it must be in the correct angle, it must be in the correct dimension, like all the other curbs. But I already see what's causing the panic. Colors doesn't match. It must be white, red, white, red. But we have it in different, different pattern when it should be. We already have six tones of white, Four of red, three of white, one red, one white, one red, four white, and so on. It's not correct. Maybe this is the issue. Maybe this is the issue. Why everybody must drive on this 60 centimeter wide curb. And that's why it causes crashes. Definitely, that's the issue. But wait, before we continue, we must evaluate how much space we got on the other side of the track where people could drive. And here we have another four meters. The average car is about two meters wide so we could fit actually like four cars here in the track without touching the curb so why the hell people need to drive over this curb it must be magnetic that by my theory by all the panic caused over the weekend I'm 100% sure this is magnetic and this is metal with really, really big magnetism. Let's try. 
not this one. So it must be red ones. Also not. The thing is, I start to think that it's just laying here like a, just a rock. It doesn't move or doesn't do anything much. It's just staying here. But this we will only know after lab sends us the answer. We need to think a little bit more. We need to think like a car thinks. And when the car sees the corner, probably the reflection of the wrong colors on the curb on the left probably pulls the car to the left side to go over the curb and cause all the damage and all the panic. Or maybe, or maybe, because people are really smart and they know we shouldn't drive on such high curbs. The earth magnetic pole is much closer under the curb than on the right side of the track. So the car is simply being pulled to the curb to drive over that. I'm nearly sure. The curb, I know, but it's not magnetic. It's just a stone laying there but something still causes people wanting to drive there. And I don't know why. And now let's just stop this stupid investigation. And to be honest, the first weekend for us, for Ring Freaks, it was very awesome. We had nine cars out because we have just nine cars on the March plates and the rest of the cars will start driving from April. And the weekend was awesome. Weather was different, some wet laps, some dry laps. People were just having fun also around in the area it was really lively around the track and really beautiful to drive in the track and what is very important i want to mention i have driven myself one of the first laps when the track was still wet on the saturday and whole track tarmac was cleaned so good that even on the wet track you had loads of grip and now let's talk a bit more about this foxhole and about the curve which caused all the panic around the area so the tarmac here is super flat it's like i don't know it's made for jet fighters to lift off it's smooth as butter and you can drive at very high speeds and about the curb people are still thinking about the old foxhole where the tarmac was a bit older where it was not so even and the curb was much flatter so the curb actually it was not flatter it was simply sinked in a little bit more in the ground and it was not let's say not maintained its original position so now actually the curb is in the same same position like it should be in like probably it was been here like 10 years ago like this just now people are used to the one which was synced in so but another good part about this track if you see this corner the corner where people are used to take the curb it has a huge banking okay it's not 10 degrees it's just seven degrees of banking in the best best position so it's definitely a huge 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 banking for such a corner because it's a high speed corner because of the banking and of the grip you have from the new tarmac you can definitely just drive on the tarmac without driving the on the curb a really fast and nice line and as well people don't forget you have a fast section before this corner with the curb and you have a hard braking after that so if you will just slow down here a little bit more it's fine because you will need to break a bit less there so you're not losing actually so much time because you are already driving such on the limit on the tourist drives come on it's not a race have fun and also to be honest that's why Nordschleife is always a beautiful track to drive every year and that's why there are endurance races of like eight nine races in a year with the same track same drivers and every race is so different because it's not only that the weather changes everything but also with the track changes a little bit every year so you need just to learn new lines new braking points new turn in point and that's all that's that's the beauty of this track every year you get something new to new so it will never get boring for you 
that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this investigation and i hope i won't need to investigate anything more this year thank you for watching see you next week